Hello everyone, my name is Rick. In the summer of 2020, in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic, I bought an Island Packet 27 sailboat. I have some experience on the water, but I'm pretty new to sailing. Thanks for stopping by and joining me on this adventure where I try to figure out what in the heck am I doing? Now I live in a little town outside of Spokane, Washington, but I also have a sailboat on the San Francisco Bay. I like to get down there every four to six weeks, but you know, that's four to six weeks where I'm not down there. That's why I call the channel Marina Queen. Okay, everyone, uh, this is Daisy, by the way, and I'm in Spokane. I'm leaving to go to San Francisco in about four hours. Uh, just kind of putting everything in my bag and getting ready to go. Uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, we're going to swap out the ST4000 uh, Helm Pilot. Uh, the boat uh, originally, uh, when I got it, had the Mark I uh, Helm Pilot. We're going to put the Mark II Helm Pilot on there. I brought the Mark I home. I got to be honest with you, it had been rebuilt like two or three times. Uh, you know, it reaches a certain point where trying to rebuild it that nth time becomes just about impossible, and, I, and it was there, so I'm going to put the new one in there. But before I uh, start heading out to the airport, I want to give you a good look at what's going on here in Spokane. Uh, we've got a little bit of snow flurries right now, probably a few inches on the ground. Uh, we had some uh, negative temperatures here in the last week, but uh, yeah. Oh yeah, a few more hours being sunny California. Let's do it. I love it when guys enjoy their their work. So this guy, now he's gonna give it some spurts. Come on, one more. Oh yeah, so good. Oh yeah. He's having fun. Well, it's a luxury to sail with crew. Somebody has to hold the boat into the wind when you're going to raise the sail or lower the sail. And, and uh, I want to be able to sail the boat on my own, single-handed. So you got to have a working autopilot to do that. So this was the first thing on my list. Uh, what was interesting is when I took the boat out the first few times after I bought it, the autopilot had been uh, rebuilt uh, so many times that there was something wrong mechanically in there to where you'd, you'd lock the heading in and the mechanical lock, the lever that locks the, uh, the, the helm would pop out. I had to use a, a bungee cord uh, to keep it locked in. And even then it didn't work right. So, so this would be really nice to have a working autopilot. But I, need, I really wanted to mock it up, and I thought there was a chance that... Uh... What's cool about the upgrade from the no. ST4000 Mark I to the ST4000 Mark II is that you don't have to drill uh, another set of holes for this anchor post. The Mark II is, it has a bigger uh, diameter, and so you'll, you'll notice this one... It's got to sit a little bit lower, but the bracket itself, uh, 
accommodates that, you can put it right into the same old holes. So something happened weird with this screw. I ended up cross threading this one right here. You'll see it right here. It just goes in a little bit uh, more difficult. To be honest, I think it was cross threaded the first time as well. So I, I don't, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself a pass on this one. So now that the anchor post is attached, I've uh, already mocked up where the ST4000 helm pilot's going to sit, so now it's just a matter of putting it together here. That might actually... When you're putting on these, uh, the first brackets, um, it's just kind of clumsy. You know, you're trying to find the hole, and it gets easier now. You've got now I've got two on. And the third one is super easy once you've got it, because you can see the thing gets closer and closer to centered. It is perfect. All right. It's how it is meant to be. So. Hey look, a gaggle of Toreros. Well, that was my last trip. I think I'll leave you with some video I took shortly after I bought the boat. Brought her over to KKMI uh, boat yard in, uh, in, in Richmond. And these guys took her out of the water. This was the first time I saw the underside of the boat and uh, well I mean you probably won't see with much clarity here but she has no osmosis blisters the underside was really I mean I was pleased with what I saw here and we won't see it uh, in this episode but she comes out of the water here goes straight over to a bay where they uh, pressure washer and uh, then they then they begin the process of preparing for a uh, new bottom job always love looking at that full keel of the island packet love it Well, we didn't get to the Raycor installation, but we'll get to that next episode. Thanks for watching. 
please subscribe to be notified when future episodes drop. Also, if you think this channel has potential, please give it a like and share it with your friends.